Was Jesus really the son of man? Was he really sent from heaven with all power in his hands to redeem the loss and pay the cost for our wickedness to be bruised and crossed, stunk on the cross for sins he ain't commit? Did he really walk on water? Did he really raise the dead? Did he really feed thousands with only five loaves of bread? Did he really give the blind sight and raise the lame to their feet? Did he really cast out demons and did he really come to see? If he's really the Messiah, then what does that mean, you see? Because if none of this is real, then please explain some things to me. How could something by chance produce such intricate life? Why do our eyes perceive beauty and our minds perceive delight? How can it just so happen to work that two people can come together? And then a woman gives birth. I mean, really, take a look around you. All is unique. Why do our ears hear to comprehend when someone else speaks? What is life if not for God? How is this a debate? But some of us can't even spell and others can't calculate. My point is, we're all limited by what we can produce. And every advancement for mankind was God breathing and introduced. Here's the truth, God gave free will. He didn't leave us in a mess and steady. Sent his only son to die and save us from ourselves. We have the choice to choose him and believe that he exists. We have the choice to choose him and turn away from our sins. Jesus is the son of man. Yes, he is God in the flesh. Jesus does have all power, but he didn't choose himself. Jesus did heal the lepers and give sight to the blind. Jesus really gave words to the mute and turned water to wine. He changed the lives of his disciples. And with the kiss, he was betrayed. He was arrested, thrown in jail, and with the trial for his fate. Death would be the only thing that could appease the crowd to say. He was battered and bruised, yes, they sped in his face. They ripped the flesh up off his bones, and he still chose grace. He did it for us. Took every lash in our place. They put thorns on his head in the shape of a crown. They mocked and they laughed at him as he was thrown to the ground. They put nails in his feet, in his hands, yeah, they bound him to a cross. At the top of a mountain, where is your power now? Save yourself, said the crowd. If you're really the son of God, get off the cross and come down. He really died on that cross and was placed in a grave. And then three days he rose and he rolled the stone away. What can we say? Amazing grace that you would save such a wretch. And through your resurrection, we could receive such a gift. Your death was life. Your death meant grace. Your death was kind. Your death showed patience. Your death was the ultimate sacrifice of love that you would choose death to save every one of us and we couldn't earn it nah we don't deserve it but today lord we grieve it reflect and receive it and give up all the reasons not to be your beacons will shine when it's bright when it's dark through every season we'll choose you like you chose us and for all the ways you showed up for the blessings that you give and just having breath to live lord we praise you and we thank you we bless you lord we're grateful because i know i shouldn't be here some of y'all shouldn't even be here So we won't take for granted Lord, our house, our jobs, our wives, our kids, our friends, our church, our cars, our lives, our eyes to see, our ears to hear Or any of the many blessings seen or unseen And for the way you take our lives to clean from unclean We're redeemed